Okay, hello everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a server or at connect to a computer uh, using Kodi so you can access media files. You could do this one of two ways. You can use a, a USB flash drive or you could just connect to a computer that is in your network to access the file. So I'm starting Kodi now. Um, I tried to do this using Windows 10 and Windows 11, a computer that has Windows 10 or Windows 11. And they didn't seem to work even when I enabled SFB 1.0 all the SMBs there and SMB direct they didn't seem to work but the only thing that did work was um, Linux operating system a computer with Linux operating system with uh, Samba installed on it and if you want to know how to do that I'll leave it in the corner of the screen and I'll leave it in the end screen as well. And you could uh, look into that on how to install Linux and how to install Samba after you install Linux. Okay, so let's get started. So I want to go to video, press A, go to file go to add video so what I want to do is I want to go to SMB but before that what you should do is you should go to settings go to services here go to Samba client and for minimum protocol you should set it to SMB B1 for the maximum protocol version. Set it to the highest SMB V3. And after you do that, um, Kodi should restart. Since I already done it, it's not going to restart. I don't have to restart. So let me get out of here and go back to videos, files add videos I'm gonna go to browse I'm going to go to SMB click OK I'm gonna put in the IP address of my computer that has um, some media files on it I'm just going to use a keyboard because it's so much faster. Okay. Let's use the mouse. That's also so much faster. And go to OK. Just go to OK. Now I'm going to click on that. And it's going to ask for your password and username. So I already entered mine already, I'm able to log into mine. But when you do it, when this is your first time doing it, it's going to ask for a username and a password, okay? So that's what you should expect. So I want to play some videos. Okay, I'm just playing some videos here and previous videos that I recorded. 
and I'm able to play and these are MPEG-4 files basically and I'm able to play them from my uh, computer I could add these to Q if I want I'm using the left mouse button whatever I want to do to it I can do it here add it to my favorites if I want and it shows you the details of um, the file uh, this is a 1080p file format is H.264 duration is 1 hour and 16 seconds next video is 7 as uh, 1280 by 720 it's called 720 HD I'll go to another part of it so being able to access uh, media files from a computer or a server in, at your home is a lot more convenient than using a USB drive to do that because uh, first of all USB drives are slow so it takes a long time to load the movies into the USB drives it's just easier to connect to a server and just get all the files that you need in my opinion okay I was just playing some files here you are about to see a revolution. Hold on, I rated PG-13, now play. You are my world now. Alright. So I'm able to stream videos from my server. I'm gonna turn down this turn down the sound because I don't want to get a copyright strike or anything like that. And this is Akira. So I can access all my movies here on my server. Definitely it's a lot more convenient than using a uh, USB drive. So now it shows up in media sources when I go to uh, when I go to videos. Shows up right there. I could just access that. I could access my uh, server and get the media files that I want to play. And this thing also has something called weather. You can add a weather <coughs> widget on here and you can get the weather in your local area basically, which is pretty cool. I, I installed this. You can select whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Okay, anyways, that's it. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Um, and like I said, the Windows 1, Windows 10, Windows 11 didn't work at all. Even when I followed instructions on enabling SMB, didn't work. None of them worked. Tried several computers. I tried Windows 10, I tried Windows 11, didn't work. The only one that I found to work was, uh, I'm using a distro of uh, Linux called Linux Mint. That worked. I'm pretty sure other distros of Linux would work like 
Ubuntu um, and uh, and others as well I'm sure they would work <coughs> so anyways thanks for watching by Ace 1000 KS 1975 signing out